Alexander Oyd says, how to calm the amygdala from brain false messages which causes panic attack? Well, you know, first of all, you got to be able to understand a neurotransmitter GABA is responsible for intrusive thoughts in management of intrusive thoughts. So how to increase GABA is lots of um, meditation is great. Things that you love to do brings your full attention to that one thing, which is a sort of meditation. Mind, what is the word for it? <laughs> Blacked out this way. Um, mindful exercises, mindful exercises, things that you like to do. Like, you know, you can have mindful exercises and everything. It doesn't have to be a particular exercise. Oh, this is for mindful exercise. No. Mindful exercises, like when you're drinking tea, the full focus is about the aroma, the taste, the fact that you're drinking tea, what cup it is, what kind of tea it is, and your senses is here. You're alert to savor it. Mm, be one with the tea as it goes down and see how it warms you up. It's a whole different experience of drinking tea when you just simply down it like you're just thirsty, you just went down it. That's when the mind is not involved in what you're doing. That's when mind and body are separated. When mind and body are separated, they're not coordinated. Therefore, your balance is not there. Your balance is not there. The neurotransmitters are not secreted as they should because they only do when there are certain conditions are present. And one of those conditions to have GABA neurotransmitter to be secreted more is when you have mindful exercise, meditation. And this mindful exercises, anything, anything you do, full attention into it. And then you got it. And of course, um, what else did you ask? Um, from brain false messages, which causes panic. No, you, you panic because you're interpreting it in a way that stimulates the amygdala. Because amygdala is responsible to keep you safe and alert, alert you, alarm you. So when you allow interpretation of some sort, that would bring the attention of amygdala to do what it does to alarm and alert you well that's then you may panic but when you send the message translate it and let that amygdala know that in the present moment there are no danger it's a thought when you compare what it was what it is what it could be and if that's unfavorable to you then you have created a reality in a virtual world, in a thought world, in a time and space that doesn't exist. You've gone into memory, compared something that is that you prefer to be or as it was with what it is right now, which you're really bypassing it and worrying about what it could be, which due to the wrong translation or not interpreting properly, the amygdala has created... This alarm that, what if it's this or that, which causes you to believe a non-truthful thing, non-actual thing, as if it's actual, then you go haywire. And that's the panic attack. So when you want to do a panic attack or you're very anxious that it could lead to that, first thing you do, you focus on something that has happened in the present moment. Why? Because the reason you're about to have a panic attack is because you're not in the present moment. You have gone and accepted an illusion, something that doesn't exist, is in the memory as an actuality. A virtuality, a thought, an image, a possibility, you have accepted that that doesn't exist as an actuality. For that reason, you got to get yourself out of that virtuality, out of that illusion, and don't give in to it to be an actual thing and in fact become one with the what really is actual at that moment. So you need to have something be happening in that moment to focus on it, to attach yourself, to bring yourself out of the thought, out of the memory, into the actuality. What is that that is happening all the time in the present moment? What is that one thing that is happening all the time 
in the present moment, that if you focus on it, you will always be in the present moment and you will be saving yourself from a tunnel of past somewhere that doesn't exist and you cannot get caught or stuck in there because it will always pull you back to the actuality. What is that thing that could be your anchor to the present moment, actuality, all the time, any moment? Breathing. You focus on feeling the movement of air into your nostrils. Feel it caressing your nose coming in. Feel the motion of its movement and feel how it's filling you up and follow it as you breathe in to where it goes and follow it backward as it exhales. Stay with it. When you go in, and when you go out, come out. When you go in, when you go out, <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> come out. In, out. Stay with it. See it. Feel it. Enjoy it and stay with that. And that is happening in the present moment. So you, your mind, will come into the present moment where your body is. And then you will have natural coordination of mind and body. When mind and body is together, you will not panic. You only panic when you separate, you allow your brain, your thoughts, separate you from your physical being. Your physical being is here in the present moment, is in actuality. Is it not in virtuality? It is not in virtuality. What separates itself, which is supposed to be with your body in actuality, is the other part of our life, the mind. So when you can anchor the mind, which in this case I'm calling mind and brain the same, but they're two different things. If you anchor yourself from into the present moment using your focus on your breathing, then it will take you out and doesn't let the mind to be separated from the body. When they're together, you're one with the nature, you're one with the universe, and nothing can give you panic because you're so confident and you're so powerful because you know you have a backing of the nature and the nature is happening in the moment. And in the moment, there's nothing, you can see there's nothing happening. Panic attack only happens in the mind. When you believe that suggestion or that possibility, when you compare what it was to what it could be, and none of it is real. What it was doesn't exist is dead. What it could be is not even here. The time and space of it is not even here. So you're comparing two non-existent things from what it was to what it could be, and you panic. And you forget about the fact that you're here in a neutral zone. Nothing's happening here. It's all safe. So anchor yourself to that breathing. Stay focused on that. You'll stay here and you see, I'm good. I'm good. And of course, you can fire that up or crank it up by two double breaths. I mean, one breath for anxiety to bring you to pretty much zero by breathing in deep and breathing another one on top of it, waiting a few seconds and exhaling it and focusing on that what you're doing. So focus on this. Then breathe normally when it finishes. And when you're exhaling, as if you can see it. When you're inhaling, see it, feel it. And inhale double, see it, feel it. Hold. Focus on it, where it is. And you're holding it. And then exhale and see it, feel it traveling outwardly. And go with it where it goes. And when you're done with it, you breathe normally. And that brings you back from anxiety to neutral. And that already defeats the possibility of panic attack and if it does want to go that way which it wouldn't you do what i just told you focus on breathing constantly breathing in breathing out focus on my breathing focus it in out stay with it stay with it and then you come out of that fictional point in time in the virtuality of the past or the future you will be in the present moment when you're in the present moment there's no panic attack because the thoughts are gone. Panic attack is a thought-driven thing. It's not a real thing. Otherwise, if it was an attack, you would be doing something. And when you're doing something for an attack, a real attack, you won't panic because you're busy doing, defending, doing whatever you got to do. People panic attack when there is no danger. If there is a danger, you won't panic. You're too busy firing your gun if it's a war or defending yourself. You're fighting. 
There is no time to panic. So whenever you have anxiety or whenever you have panic attack, you can be damn sure that you're safe. Why? Because if there was a real danger, you would not panic. You would be busy. So if you panic or have anxiety, you can be damn sure everything is okay because nothing has happened. You're just worried about if it would happen. That's why you panic attack. That's why you have anxiety. And that should give you the information that, hey, if I'm anxious, if I'm panicking, that means everything is safe because nothing has happened. If it did, I'd be busy dealing with it. So on that note, let's go on to Jesse. Jesse, it's been a long time, dear. Where have you been? Subscribe on my channel, visit my channel, and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindatseekstruth.com is making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what concerning you. I'll talk to you soon.